Morton, I'll just ask you to pull that microphone very close to your mouth if you could. You can adjust it. Thank you. How old are you? 42. Where were you born? Flushing, Queens, New York. Where did you grow up? Between Bronx and Queens. How far did you go in school? A little bit of college. Where did you do that little bit of college? Wyoming Correctional Facility. Okay, do you have a GED? Yes. How far did you go in school before you got your GED? To the ninth grade. Okay, where do you live now? Queens Private Correctional Facility, GEO. I'm sorry, GEO. GEO is the name of it? Yes, ma'am. Is that a federal jail? Yes, ma'am. When did you start living in federal jail? Around March 6, 2017. When you were initially arrested, what were you arrested for? Racketeering, firearm in aid of racketeering, and drug conspiracy. Have you pled guilty to any federal crimes? Yes. What federal crimes did you plead guilty to? Racketeering, drug conspiracy, firearm in aid of racketeering, murder for hire, firearm and murder through the use of a firearm, and conspiracy to commit murder. All right. Those three murder charges, were they all related to the same incident? Yes, ma'am. All right. Have you been sentenced for your crimes? No, ma'am. When you pled guilty, did you have a cooperation agreement with the government? Yes, ma'am. We're going to come back to that later, but briefly, what does that agreement require you to do? Come to all of the meetings, not commit any more crimes, and tell the truth? You said you pled to racketeering. What was that charge related to? To my participation in the Bloodhound Brim. What are the Bloodhound Brims? It's a New York street gang. Does it go by any other names? BHB and Hound. And Hound? Any others you can think of? Bloodhound Brims, BHB, Hats, The Jets. The Jets? Yes. Looking around the courtroom today, do you recognize anyone else who was in the Bloodhound Brims with you? Yes. Can you please point out that person or persons by where they're sitting and what they're wearing? Light. He has on glasses with a blue shirt, blue sweater. And Don P got bald head with glasses. And La Brim, he has a yellow shirt with a tie. Your Honor, may the record reflect that the witness has identified each of the defendants? Record will so reflect. Mr. Morton, before you were a member of the Bloodhound Brims, were you a member of any other gang? Yes. What other gang or gangs were you a member of? I was a member of 5-9 Brim, Mac Bala Brim, and East Homicide. What are all of those? They're all hoods under the brim, under the NYBBA. What is a hood? A hood is like the set. It's a, a hood is just, you know, the group of people, group of individuals representing that, that set. A hood and a set are the same thing? Yes, ma'am. You said they were all under the NYBBA. What is that? That's like the nation of it. That's like, you know, that's the big, that's the group as a whole. Does NYBBA stand for something? New York Blood Brim Army. How many hoods or sets are under the NYBBA? It's supposed to be nine. Miss Arney, can we please pull up the government exhibit 902, which is in evidence? Mr. Morton, do you see that on your screen? Yes, ma'am. Do you recognize it? Yes. What is it? It's a graph of the pedigree. Which part of this is the pedigree? The bottom part, the blue. The blue? Yes. What are pedigree? It's the boroughs. It's supposed to be all of the boroughs you know. Individual. Each, each hood, I mean, each borough has. Whatever is hound in that borough, that's the pedigree they represent. All right, let's take a step back. What's in the orange box at the top? That is the main, that's the nation. NYBBA. What's the yellow box under that? That's the hood that I was a part of. The hood? Bloodhound Brims. Yes, BHB. Under that are the pedigrees? Yes, ma'am. Were you a member of a particular pedigree? No, because I was gone when they officially started it, but I was there in the making of it. 
What do you mean you were there in the official start of it? When it when it was officially stamped and sanctioned, I was already out. But if I was still in it, I would have been a member of Queens, Beagleheim. Were pedigrees also a part of the BHB? No. They started at some time after you were a member. Yes, ma'am. All right. How did Beagle get its name? Labrim gave it to him. You said that that's your pedigree because you were from Queens. Yes. What did you think of the name Beagle? Objection. Sustain. I didn't. Sustain. When I say sustain, that means you don't answer the question. Oh. Mr. Morton, before the pedigrees were named, was there a discussion between you and other members of the Bloodhound Brims about what the name should be? Yes, ma'am. What name did you want Queens to have? Objection. Objection. Grounds. Relevance. Overruled. What name did you want, Mr. Morton? I wanted it to be Wolfhound. Why'd you want that? Because... Objection! Same basis? Yes. Overruled. Beaglehound was too, like a little dog. It wasn't aggressive enough. We can take that down, Miss Harney. When did you first join the Bloods, Mr. Morton? Around 2011. I mean, 2010. Sorry. Mr. Morton, when did you first join any Brim set? 01. 2001. Where were you then? In Downstate Correctional Facility. Just to be clear, are the Brims Bloods? Yes, ma'am. How did you come to join the Bloods? A guy named Maine Brim brought me home under him. What does that mean, brought me home? Turn me, turn me blood. What was your relationship to Maine Brim after he brought you home? I was like his drop. What does it mean to be a drop? that I was under him. Who else was a drop of Maine Brim? At one point, La Brim. At the time you first joined the Bloods, did you receive information about the gang and about its history? Yes. How did you get that information? Through, like through a packet, letters. It was written down, paper. What kinds of things was written on the paper you received? Excuse me? What kinds of things were written on the paperwork that you received? Objection. Grounds? Hearsay. Overruled. You can answer. Like when did blood start? Who started it? How many hoods was in it? Oaths? What's an oath? It's what you take when you turn blood. What's the significance of taking an oath? It's so that you could. It's just something to show the loyalty, you know. It's just, it's a pledge. It's for you to pledge your loyalty to that to that hood. Why is it important to get paperwork explaining the history of the Bloods? Objection. Sustain. Mr. Morton, let's go through some of the other sets that you mentioned being a part of. When did you switch from 5'9 to Mac Bala Brim? At some point when I got locked up on Rikers Island. Why would you switch? It was just, Mac Bala was a little bit more, it was a little bit more popular. They was moving a little more different than 5'9 Brim was. So, and it was a couple of GFs that was there. So I just went under them. What's a GF? It's like the head of the gang. It's Godfather. The Godfather of Macbala? Yes, ma'am. Who are the Godfathers of Macbala? Lo and Eli was there. You said that was when you were in Rikers? Yes, ma'am. After you got released from Rikers, did you continue being part of Macbala's? No. For a little while? For a little while until, you know, I left there. Okay, why'd you leave? I got shot and nobody, you know, they didn't know anything about it. Who shot you? Some Crips. What are Crips? It's like a rival gang to the Bloods. Okay, where did that shooting take place? In the Bronx. Where specifically? In Parkchester. Before the time that you were shot, had you had any other disputes with Crips in Parkchester before? Yeah, off and on. What was, the, what was the nature of those disputes? Little beefs. Objection, Your Honor. Overruled. Little beefs about the drugs that I might have been selling, things like that. You said there were beefs. What does that mean? Excuse me? You said beefs. What do you mean? Like, I was, like I was selling drugs out there. They didn't want me to sell drugs out there. 
that created a problem. And you said they didn't do nothing. What are you talking about? They did retaliate. Who's they? The Max. After you were shot, the Max didn't retaliate? No, ma'am. Did you want them to do that? Yes. Why'd you want them to do that? Because I got shot and I was a part of them. <laughs>